Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back to another video. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Matthew Vanderbilt. Thomas 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 Toils. That was horrible, but you know what? Doesn't really matter, does it? Does anything matter? Maybe. I've got some good news today. I've got some great news today. I've got some bad news today. Keep on watching to find out what they are. Inspired by Keith Lautitz, I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that. I have been shooting a photo of build sites every morning around the same time for the last 120-ish days. So about a third of a year now, I've been shooting the same exact build sites across London from our flat. That's the good news. What's the bad news? The bad news is that we've moved flats. Welcome to the first video in the Cloud Palace 2.0. Very exciting. Channel members and Patreon supporters will get a house tour very soon. For now, I'm going to show you what I've shot in Cloud Palace 1.0. What it looks like straight out of camera, how I shot it, how I stabilize it, because the warp stabilizer behind me, not good enough. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And then I've got some great news as well. And the great news is obviously the ultimate time-lapse course has launched, but more about that later. As I said, inspired by Keith, every morning I have been walking out on the balcony. Welcome to the new balcony, by the way. It's not a bad one. Now, how do I set up my camera to shoot a photo that has the same exposure for every morning, which is always different? Well, I've just taken the easy road. I'm one step up from shooting in auto mode. I'm shooting in P mode or program mode, where you let the camera decide most of the settings, not all the settings. So P mode, auto ISO, image stabilizer on the lens, 200 mil, and a single focal point that I'm using to point at the corner of buildings or cranes or the top of a, of a church uh, spire or tower so that I can have at least something semi-resembling a steady shot. So this is pretty much what my morning looks like. I have one, two, three, four build sites here now in the new flat. And the way I would shoot them is like this. Make sure I'm in the same spot. I have this thing here lined up to know where I should stand. And then I go, let's see, stabilization. Click, next shot, line it up, click, next shot, line it up, click, and finally this one lined up with the church there, boom. And that's that. The thing is, obviously, you got to do this every morning. So if you're on holiday, that's pretty tricky. And also, if you move apartments, you can't keep doing that because you can't keep going to the old flat. So funnily enough, I am shooting some of the same buildings as I have been shooting for the last three months from the old flat but now from a new angle. So the end result will just have a cool uh, wipe transition or a, I don't know. But yeah, it's been really, really fun just looking at these images and seeing how much changes in a day, honestly. Let me show you how I load these into Lightroom and how I stabilize them. And hopefully some of you can join me in this uh, morning ritual where the first thing you do before you start your work is just snap a couple of photos. Obviously, if you have a view, by the way, you have no idea how difficult it was to find this place with a view that didn't have issues like the previous place. I'll make a video about it soon, but I also want you to know that yes, we know how privileged we are to have a view like this. Anyways, to the computer now. I've offloaded all the photos from the memory card onto a hard drive, imported that into a Lightroom catalog, and then I've separated them into separate folders, one folder for each build site or each building, obviously. I've also split the raw files from the JPEG files because I shot both because the JPEG files are easier to stabilize and then you can just replace them with raw files before exporting like a proxy sequence. Now let's have a look at After Effects and see what it looks like straight out of camera, which would be this sequence here. As you can see, I've tried to shoot it kind of steadily or kind of stable, but uh, yeah, I didn't do a great job. So the first step is to apply the warp stabilizer, which you can find in the tracker panel. And that doesn't always do a good job. As you can see here, what the hell is that? There are many ways to fix this and to improve this performance that I talk about in the ultimate time-lapse course. But what I did here is instead I used the stabilize motion method, which gives us a good result to start with. And then I've applied the warp stabilizer again and put it to no motion. So it should in theory be rock solid. It's close enough. The result is seen here. Once again, this is straight out of camera and that's just jarring to the eyes, isn't it? And this is what it looks like when it's stabilized. And there are so many fun things to look at here. Obviously, the eye is attracted initially to the construction site here, which has 
two concrete towers going up, lift shafts I presume, and then from the bottom they've started building up the rest of the building, which is a massive building. And you can see here on the side as well, it's getting built up. This building in the front here has like some scaffolding going up and down each day, it's kind of weird. You can see a little parallax shift here on the left, which is just something you can't stop from happening unless you're shooting on a locked off position on a, like a tripod ball head or something. These cranes on the right here, like they appear out of nowhere. There's some extra cranes coming up there, which is cool. Not much happening in the shard besides like, um, you know, window blinds or shades coming up and down every day. The most fun thing about this, and another great example of why time lapse is so fun, it reveals this hidden dimension, this different temporal perspective, right? I didn't think about the trees. Look at these trees going from winter time to spring and summer time. I totally forgot about the fact that I would also be capturing seasons on this. So this is hundred and around a hundred days worth of time lapse. And yeah, you can just see these beautiful trees. These tall, skinny ones, they bloom. But I don't know what you, what do, you, what do trees do? They um, get leaves earlier than the big ones behind it. And it's just really cool. I really, really love this. It is very flickery, that's always going to happen with the different amount of lights and shadow, etc. But shooting in P mode on Zero EV has helped kind of get a similar exposure for each day. As you can see, some of them I forgot to shoot in the morning, so you can tell by the shadows that I shot it at a different time of day. But it's just so much fun. Let's have a look at the other shot. Straight out of camera. Jarring as heck. And let's look at the stabilized version. Again, a little parallax shift you can notice on this church here. And what's the most interesting thing here? Obviously this build site. Uh, you can see all the workers on these floors adding the glass and stuff. This lift on the, this construction lift on the left here just disappears in a few days. This whole thing gets built here on the left. That's getting built up. That's really cool. This new crane arrives in the middle and that crane is actually one of the subjects that I'm shooting now. I can tell from the angles and because I stare at this view so often. And again, here at the bottom, these trees. If I'd known about the trees before I started this project, I would have angled some of my shots a little bit lower so I can get more of that in there because it's just so incredibly cool. How awesome. That's, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. This, it's an ongoing project. It's not finished, obviously. But I can't wait to, um, yeah, to keep going with this. It's just so much fun. Hopefully you join me. If you have a view and you've got a camera and uh, you've got the time and the, and the energy for it, please do. And the great news that I mentioned at the start of this video is obviously the fact that the Ultimate Time Lapse Course pre-sale has finally launched to the public. If you're part of my newsletter, you would have known this. If you're one of the channel members or Patreon supporters, you would have known this. But you can buy the Ultimate Time Lapse Course at a $50 discount right now, today. It holds everything that I know about time lapse on this platform, which is an amazing platform. There's a membership side to it. There will be uh, quizzes that I'm building. There are hundreds of raw files and JPEGs and project files that you can download. It's got content about basic time lapse, advanced time lapse, hyperlapse, astro time lapse, astrophotography, um, golden, uh, holy grail stuff. I'm losing what I need to say here because there's so much in this course, literally. There's going to be over 75 videos up there already. I have got 51 videos up and running. There's a 10% discount code for LR time lapse. There's so much cool stuff. You get my ultimate time lapse guide ebook. You get that included. You get my time lapse presets and LUTs included. You will learn so much about time lapse photography, how to shoot on a GoPro, how to shoot on iPhone, how to shoot on Android. All these things are in there. It's fantastic. The feedback is wonderful already. And it's something that I've been working on for months. It's been in my head for years to create this. I'm super proud of it. I'm super stoked. If you want to support this channel, click the link down below and have a look. And if you like it, maybe buy it. If you don't like it, maybe buy it still. Support the channel. Come on. Anyways, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have very much enjoyed making this and I can't wait to see the rest of these construction sites go up. Anyways, that's all for today. May your skies be filled with fluffy clouds. Goodbye.